All right, guys, so today we are checking out the Tone Rider Panama set. Now, some of you might have seen the video that I posted up a few days ago of me sort of doing, you know, like a track demo of these pickups so you can hear them in context. And it was very much in that sort of uh, like 80s shred style, thinking um, Eddie Van Halen and, you know, Betancourt. <laughs> But anyway, today what we're gonna do is actually take more of a deep dive into the pickups and go through a lot of different tones and sort of use case scenarios and also giving you a little bit of specs, a little bit more details about these pickups and also who Tone Rider are. So these are the ones that I've got in my guitar at the moment. Now it's a bridge and neck set and it is F spaced in the bridge. So that's for all your, you know, your tremolos or your fenders, Floyd Rose, that kind of stuff. Now on the topic of colors, I've got them in black, as you can see here. This will be everything that you're hearing today. It's my modified Ibanez AZ, which started its life off as an HSS. And I, as you can see, have converted it into a dual humbucker. They've got loads and loads of different color options. You've got white, cream, zebra, black. Um, you can get nickel covers, gold covers. So pretty much anything that you can sort of desire. Now just going over the specs of the pickups, they're both ceramic magnets and the bridge, the F-Space version is coming in at 14 and a half K and the neck is 11 and a half K. Now this sort of puts them in that sort of upper mid um, sort of output in terms of pickups. They're not ridiculously hot like a death bucker or something like that, but there's still enough uh, juice in there to push anything that you're throwing it in front of. Now without further ado, let's actually hear some tones. We're gonna go through all the three different sets of pickups. I'm not coil splitting in this video because I feel like there's so many different options to coil split. Um, you know, you got split into the north coil, slug coil, partial split, things like that, and also parallel. I just think, I'll leave it up to your own devices whether, you know, if that's something you want to do and how you want to go about it. All right, let's hear some tones. Thank <laughs> you. 
So you've heard the tones, you've heard the specs about the pickups. So, what do I think? Well, I wouldn't have been using these pickups for as long as I have. Been in my main guitar for about two weeks now. And obviously I wouldn't even done the video if I wasn't actually enjoying them. Now the good people at Tone Rider did send me these pickups for the purpose of a review and a demo. But like anything else on the channel, if I don't enjoy using it and I don't, if I don't think it's good, then I won't be doing a video on it. Now these are designed here in the UK, which is cool. And now this pickup set in particular, so that's the S-based black set. It comes in at 80 pounds direct from Tone Rider website. And that's a crazy bargain. You're getting a lot of pickup um, for what you're paying for here. I don't like to throw around the term good for the money because I feel like that's just got a really, you know, a bad or negative connotation to it. It's something that's cheap and it's, you know, okay. Um, but these are just really, really good pickups. And if you head over to the Tone Rider site, you've got a tons of different options on there, whether that be vintage PAFs, you've got single coils, P90s, anything that you really need. I'll throw in the links below so you can head over to Tone Rider website. I've also got all my socials down there, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. And if you enjoy the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe so you can see more of what I do. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.